Welcome back to Make Easy YouTube channel guys. In this video we are going to talking about how to install Windows 10 operating system in laptop using bootable pen drive. In previous video I have shown and I have explained how to solve this type of error when you have Windows 7 in your laptop and if you try to install Windows 10 this type of problem occur. And in your case maybe it is written in the different way when you try to install. But how to solve this error I have already shown in the previous video. You can watch that and make a bootable pen drive and just follow along with this video and you can install the Windows 10 in your system very easily. Let's start the installation. Yeah, this is my laptop I'm going to use to install Windows 10 and it have Windows 7 previously. I'm going to install Windows 10 now. Let's start. What you need to do? You need to plug in that, plug that pen drive which have Windows 10 installation media which we have already created in the previous video. You can watch and make that. After plugging you have to start the computer by pressing on the power button. When computer is starting, you have to press F2, F12 or Dell button from the keyboard to get to the BIOS setting. Let's do that. Here is the power button. I'm pressing this once. Now it is starting. I will press this F2 button quickly from here. Yeah, we are here in the BIOS setting. In your computer, it might be different. So you have to try F2, F12 or Dell button from the keyboard. You have to go to this BIOS setting. Anyhow, after that, you have to find out boot sequence. It depends on computer to computer, laptop to laptop. It may be in the different location. You have to find out this boot sequence. You have to press enter here. You can see your options also here. How to do? You have to press enter and it will get to these options. Here I have kept USB storage device at the top because I know, because I have tried before and I get those errors what I have shown already. So I have kept this USB because we have pen drive to boot. If you want to move this up and down, you can use this U button and D button. As you can see in at the bottom, UD to make it up and down. But remember that you have to keep this USB at the top because we are going to load from this. Okay. If you keep this internal SDD, that means hard disk, your operating system Windows 7 will be loaded. So you have to keep this USB. After that, you have to press ESC from the keyboard. ESC button. This type of screen will appear. Again, press ESC button. And it will ask you to... Okay, again, press ESC. Okay, let me make... Uh, yeah. It will ask you to save and exit because I haven't done any changes because it is, it is in this way. Okay, let me make some changes. I will keep this at... Okay, second number. And ESC button, yeah, it will say in this way, save, change this. You have to click on save and then again ESC button and save and exit. The computer will restart. You don't have to click anything. Just it will load from your pen right now, Windows 10. It is loading now. You can see this icon. This means it is loading. Let's wait for a few minutes and it will, when it will be loaded, it will continue the process. Yes, it is loading. Yeah, it is loaded now. What to do? You have to click on this next button to continue installation process. After that, you have to click on this install now button. Okay, after that, this screen will appear. What you need to do here, you need to click on this. I don't have product key. If you have, you can enter your product key here. But in my case, I don't have. Just click on this. And from here, I recommend you to use Windows 10 Pro. You can use any, which you like. Anyway, click on the next. You have to accept the terms and condition. So let me accept it. Remember that here you have to select this custom. Click on it. And here it is displaying hard disk drive. How many drive you have? Like C drive, D drive. Here are two. And in, this is the C drive. You have to remember this. This is the C drive. I know. You have to find out which is the C drive. If you want to keep the backup of your data, like this is available in the D drive, that is 78 GB. I know this is C drive. I, if I want to delete this only or format this, only I will format this. Then my data, which is in the D drive, will be remain safe. So in this way, you can do. Okay, click on OK. The C drive is formatting now, which have Windows 7 already. Now, you have to click on next to install. If you want to install in this D drive, you can select this and click on next. And if you want to format this drive, then you can select it and click on format. And click on OK. It will be formatted. That's done. Let's talk about how to make a partition. Let's say I've, if I want to delete all the partition I have and I want to create, just you can select on delete and delete it from here. In this way, second also. And I'll show you how to make a partition, new partitions. When we delete one, unallocated space is displaying here, 78. Let me delete this also. I have deleted, I have deleted both. So now you can see here, 149 GB, unallocated space. You can click on this new to make a new partition that is local disk C, D, E, something like that. You have to keep here size in MB. I have kept here 72,000 MB, that means like 72 GB. I'll click on apply and the new partition will be created. Now you can see 70.3 GB is created, primary. Next unallocated space, this is here. Select it and click on new to create a new partition like local disk C is created, local disk D, it will be. Okay, done. And where do you want to install your operating system? This one or second one? I will select this first and I will click on the next. Now installation processes begin. 
So it will take few time, maybe 25 to 45 minutes, depending upon your system speed. So let's wait for that. And then we'll continue. While you are installing Windows operating system, your computer may be restart three times. So don't worry about that. When it will restart, it will continue the process. And when it will restart twice, you have to remove the pen drive. I will show you when to do, how to do. Let's wait now. Getting files ready for installation, 95% done, and still three are left. It will be completed soon. Let's wait for that. Now your computer will restart. Don't worry, after restarting, it will continue the process. You can remove the pen drive right now. Did you remove the pen drive? No? Then this will happen. It is asking to install again. So don't click on next. Just shut down the computer and remove the pen drive and restart the computer. Then the process will continue. I have done the same thing. I shut down the computer. I will restart again. And the process will continue now. Pen drive removal is compulsory because it will load from the pen drive again. No? If I remove that, then it will load from the hard disk because the file is already stored in the hard disk. So it will continue the process installation process now. Most important part is finished. Now the simple steps are remaining. You have to click next, next, next and give your name, username, password, next, next, next. It will be done. So let's do that quickly. You can see this type of screen. It is getting ready now. After getting ready, the computer is restarting. So don't worry. It will start the process continuously. Let's wait again. Finally, it is again displaying just a moment. Let's wait again. It takes time. Finally, welcome screen comes. Let me turn off this cortina. I have turned off this microphone option. So I'm not getting wise. I have turned off this mic option from here, so it is not talking now. Now simple steps, you have to select region and you have to click next. Now keyboard layout, select any, you can change it later. We can skip this also, I will skip it for now. This is Windows 10 and Wi-Fi option is displaying here, but I don't want to connect any Wi-Fi right now. I will skip this for now. I will say no to this also. Now this is asking for PC name, let me keep my name here. I have kept my name, so I will click on next. Now password, I don't want to keep password, I will click on next simply. I have to accept this. I will say no to this. Again, we have to accept this again. Finally, installation process is completed. As you can see here, Windows 10 is ready to use now. I just press Windows E button to go to the file explorer and then this PC, as you can see here, C drive and D drive, 70 CV for Windows file and D drive is not usable now. We have to format that to use. So how to format? Double click on it directly and format disk. Click on it, click on this start button. Click on this OK, format complete, and close this now. Now we can use this both the drive. In the C drive, we have Windows files, and in the D drive, we have we can store other data. In Windows 7, there is no option or no drivers for Wi-Fi. You have to install that externally, but Windows 10, here is the option for that. And if you like the video, understand the concept, and you understand how to install Windows operating system, click on the like button, click on the subscribe button, and if you have any doubts, you can comment below. And if you want any topic to discuss here in simple way, you can just comment below and I'll make a video on that. Thank you guys. Have a good day. Good luck. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll get notification for the new videos.